What's up guys? Now you're probably wondering why I haven't posted a video in a, about a week. It's because I came down with some kind of sickness, you know, I wasn't feeling too good, but I feel good now, so the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer pops up. So, I don't usually do trailer reviews, but here we go, let's talk about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. So for the last week, they've been anticipating on Facebook and all these kind of, you know, social media platforms that there was going to be a trailer for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, they did release a lot of, you know, pictures and, and posters for the, for the film in advance, but, you know, I wasn't too excited about going into to actually watching this trailer just because the first one, it didn't really have me hooked. When the time comes closer, I'll review the first movie in, in all detail, but it didn't really have me hooked enough to be excited to, you know, actually want to watch the trailer for the second movie. So I go on my computer, I, I, I put the trailer on, I watch this trailer. Now here's my thoughts on this thing. Now before I get into depth talking about this trailer, I am going to say if you didn't see it yet, this is a spoiler-filled uh, review about the trailer. So if you didn't watch the trailer, the link is down below. I'm going to put the link down below. So watch the trailer and then come back and watch my thoughts on this. So the beginning of this trailer we see Spider-Man he's jumping off some kind of a building uh, and you know he's, he's swinging around town and uh, Harry Osborn is introduced in this trailer we see a little bit of Sally Field and you know Spider-Man he's flying around and we, we get a, a tease of the Electro uh, it's he's maybe in about like a minute of the trailer out of the two and a half minutes that we got uh, but you know this what this trailer really got to tell you and I think what it was trying to get across is not that the villain is going to be Electro I think they focused more upon uh, the Sinister Six uh, if that's what it's called it's six villains uh, from the Spider-Man universe that come together and uh, try to you know kill Spider-Man. Now this trailer hints upon that and let me show you why. I'm gonna play a, the short clip from the trailer so here you go. I was going to use my research for Did you catch that? Well I'm gonna play again in slow motion so here you go. Now when I saw this for the first time I went now when I saw this for the first time I was uh, now when I saw that for the first time, that part of the trailer, uh, I actually paused the video, rewinded it for about 10 seconds, and I paused it. And I actually looked, and they're, they're in these like glass vaults or, or whatever. I, I didn't really get to see what they were in, but it looked like uh, Doc Ock's you know, tentacles, and the thing next to it looked like something that like would be like the vulture's wings or something uh, which makes me think I, 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 I don't think it's gonna suffer the same fate I hope it doesn't suffer the same fate as Spider-Man 3 did uh, have your opinion on that movie you know I just didn't think it worked with all the villains because in all the comic-con you know stuff and, and the the table or whatever you know all the interviews that, that went down for the amazing Spider-Man 2 you hear Mark Webb saying this film is kind of a uh, tease to certain villains that you'll see in future films, which makes me start to think, in this one, we could get a tease of the Sinister Six, which Electro is in this film, he's part of that, uh, you know, and then maybe the next film we'll see the Green Goblin, and it looks like we have a little bit of Goblin in this film. I don't know if it was the Green Goblin, it looked like somebody on a glider, uh, because it was just kind of a really quick little... Uh, little clip that, that they show, just a tiny little, you know, uh, uh, of someone on a glider. It looked like Spider-Man was fighting, so maybe we'll have Spider-Man fighting uh, the, the Green Goblin as well. Maybe that's going to be Harry Osborn, maybe that's going to be Norman Osborn, because in this trailer we see Norman Osborn, he's in a hospital bed. So, you know, is he going to survive and become the Green Goblin? Or is Harry going to become the, the, the Green Goblin, uh, or the, the new Goblin, or whatever the hell you want to call it? But also, in all the interviews, they, they do specifically say that Electro is going to be the main villain in this film. Uh, so in the next film we might get, you know, the, the, the Goblin or the Rhino, uh, apparently he's teased. 
but uh, you know, I'm really excited for this movie. About five hours ago, I was not excited for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but watching this trailer, uh, I'm really excited for this movie. The only gripe I have about it is Spider-Man himself. Now, not Andrew Garfield. I don't have a problem with him. He's, he's doing a fine job as uh, Spider-Man. I, I do like Tobey Maguire more, but that's a different conversation entirely. Andrew Garfield is fine. But Spider-Man in the costume, when he's swinging around, it, it looks animated. It doesn't look like it's real. It looks like he's uh, just, you know computer generated in that scene when he's you know flying around the the town and stuff it just doesn't look real maybe it looks real to you guys uh but to me it doesn't look it doesn't look real uh but yeah i mean overall this trailer it, it really really sold me uh, if i was gonna rate the trailer I, this might be one of the first trailer reviews i ever done so if i'm gonna rate the trailer i'll give it uh, four and a half uh, out of five stars. The the point five off is just because Spider Man looks a, a bit cartoony, but uh, yeah, I mean this is a really good trailer. The link is down below. If you did watch it, comment and tell me your thoughts on this trailer. Are you excited for the Amazing Spider Man two? I mean also because Hans Zimmer is uh, doing the score for this movie. He's one of my favorite composers. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of things to look forward to when this film comes out. But guys, once again, thank you for watching, subscribe, and make sure you comment below. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on what you think about this trailer. Are you excited? Are you just not caring about it at all? Comment and let me know your thoughts. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. Over and out.